And as we've mentioned, the St. Louis Obispo County Sheriff's Office used cadaver dogs and ground penetrating radar in searching Ruben Flores' home today. And as KSBY's Melissa Newman reports, this is not the first time either of these tools have been used in the case, and she joins us now live in Arroyo Grande. Melissa? Nina, over two decades have gone by in this case, leaving some wondering what evidence is still detectable after all of this time. That's why today investigators use tools that could reveal more than what we can see with the naked eye. Searches conducted on four legs and three wheels Monday at the home of Ruben Flores in connection to the 1996 disappearance of Cal Poly student Kristen Smart. Cadaver dogs from the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office alerted to the door of a 1985 Volkswagen Cabriolet last registered to Ruben and Susan Flores. For cadaver dog trainer and former Border Patrol officer Roy Lopez, he says even after years have gone by, cadaver dogs can still pick up a scent. You know, the, the scent that they detect is still very detectable after even hundreds of years. So, yeah, like a cold case of five years, 10 years, 20 years. You know, definitely depending on the conditions, you know, environmental factors, stuff like that. Cadaver dogs were used previously in the case back in 1996 at Cal Poly. At that time, dogs alerted to items inside the dorm room Paul Flores was living in when Kristen Smart disappeared, according to investigators. Lopez says cadaver dogs are an irreplaceable, invaluable tool for search and recovery efforts. In a cold case, they'll have numerous different areas that they want to search. And just visually searching with a human is very, very limited. Whereas if you can break, if you can take a dog out there and search the area very thoroughly in a much shorter amount of time. Investigators also use ground penetrating radar Monday. Matthew Wolf, president of Impulse Radar, says people will often use the device in a grid pattern searching for inconsistencies in the soil. If you have soil layers and they look contiguous and all of a sudden you dig a pit and backfill it, it will never reorient itself to the, the native, what the native soil looks like. Wolf says the device's display is different than you may think. If, the, if there was a body in, in a shallow grave, you might just see kind of a blob that's different, you know, dimensionally it might be proportionally to a human form, you know, lengthwise, you know, but you're really going to see mostly the burial, not the actual human. Ground penetrating radar was previously used in 2000 at the home of Susan Flores, but after digging in Flores's backyard seven years later, no evidence was found that Smart was buried there. Now that canine expert tells me that cadaver dogs and their handlers can actually be subpoenaed in court if something they find during a search gets questioned later on in a case. They also are required to have a search warrant in order for the team to be called out. Reporting live in Arroyo Grande, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. Melissa, thank you. A search warrant was served at Ruben Flores' home as recently as February of 2020. 